Hello! In this video, I'm going to go over how to turn on physics simulations inside of the sequencer. And I'm also going to have the sequencer set it up so that when the sequencer is done playing, you can keep the changes that have gone on in the sequence. So what do I mean by that? Well, let's hit play. We've got some sequence set up right now. The camera moves in. The physics simulation turns on, there's a ragdoll, but when it's done, everything's back to the way it started. So how do we set that up and then how do we fix that issue? All right, well, the first thing that we can do is this cube is the item that has the physics simulation uh, set on it. We've got this cable component, which is then attached to the cube. And then the cube is brought into the sequencer and then you go and you add the component. The static mesh component is the piece that allows you to then, once you've got the component, you can go in, go to body instance, physics, and here's simulate physics. So that's how you add simulate physics. And then it's just a, you can keyframe that on and off. All right, so is it, pretty much the same for the ragdoll simulation. So just scroll down, got the ragdoll, and then you add the skeletal mesh component. And then on the skeletal mesh component, once you've got the that added, you just go to the body instance physics and simulate physics. So now if we want to have this you know, maintain or keep the changes that have been made by sequencer, the, what you do is you go into the track uh, in the cube. It's the transform track. You can right click, go to properties, and then when finished, keep state. It's that easy, which is pretty awesome. And then with the Skeletal mesh, we also need to do that. I've seen other people delete the transform tracks. You can, um, and then in the properties under this simulation, you can say, keep state. Let's give that a try and see if that works. Bonk, and hey, there we go. All right. Well, that pretty much wraps it up. Let me know if that works well for you. Physics simulations and keeping the state after the sequencer playing. Thanks so much for watching. See you in the next video.